Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday and welcome to Toddler Time. My name is Miss Katrina. I'm the children's librarian at the Northboro Free Library. And you are here for um, toddler time, which is a story time that's geared for kiddos ages two and three with their grown-ups. So I highly encourage grown-ups to have a seat, to play along with us, to interact with the stories that we're going to read um, with your kiddos. Sing the song, sing along with me, uh, because I know that your children are going to have more fun if they see you interacting and you having fun as well. So every toddler time we make a prediction about what our story time is about based on the covers and the titles of our books. So let's take a look. There's only two today and this one is sort of vague so you'll have to bear with me here. Our first title is called, can you take a guess? What do those white letters mean? Right, it's turkeys. Our book's about turkeys. <laughs> because there's a really big turkey on the front cover. And this is by Leo Staffs, and it's read with permission from Abdo Publishing. Thank you, Abdo. And our second book today is one that you might sort of recognize. It's called Baby Bear, Baby Bear, What Do You See? And this is by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Caro. And who is on the front cover? We have, right, bears. We've got Mama Bear and baby bear <laughs> and they go through the story and they see all kinds of forest animals so what do you think our story time is about we've got a book about turkeys and we've got a book about baby bear and other forest animals what do you think hmm. so this is a tough one so our story time theme this week at the children's library is fall animals animals that you would see gathering food in the fall flying south getting ready for winter that's what we're going to be exploring before we get started with our stories i invite everybody to stand up stand up and we're going to open with our with our first song and it goes like this and please sing sing at home with me and good morning oliver <laughs> Come along and sing with me, sing with me, sing with me. Come along and sing with me, it's so much fun to sing. Good job. Can you stomp your feet? Let's stomp. Come along and stomp with me. <laughs> Come along and spin with me, spin with me, spin with me. Come along and spin with me, it's so much fun to spin. Good spinning. Can you shrug your shoulders? Come along and shrug with me, shrug with me, shrug with me. Come along and shrug with me. Fun to shrug. What else can we do? Hmm. Let's jump. Come along and jump with me. Jump with me. Jump with me. Come along and jump with me. It's so much fun to jump. Good jumping. One more. Let's blink our eyes. Come along and blink with me. Blink with me. Blink with me, come along and blink with me. It's so much fun to blink. Good job, everybody. Whew, all right. Can you, let's see. We're going to do our sit down rhyme. Can you find your shoulders? Hands on shoulders. Hands on knees. Now hide them behind you if you please. Reach up high into the air. Now down at your sides. Touch your hair. <laughs> Touch your elbows. There they are. Now squash your face. <gasps> Wiggle your fingers all over the place. Stomp your feet and turn around. Stretch.
stretch down low and then <gasps> sit down. Oh, good sitting. All right, everybody, let's start with our first story. We're going to do turkeys. I wonder if you have seen any turkeys walking around Northboro recently or anywhere where you might be. There's one really big turkey family that lives near my house. And you know what? I saw them walking through my lawn the other, the other week. It was pretty silly. I encourage you to look, keep an, keep an eye out for them. So let's learn about turkeys. Hmm, wild turkeys have lived in North America for thousands of years. American Indians raised turkeys for food. Right, we eat turkeys too. Most turkeys today are poultry. That means that we raise them for food. But many turkeys still live in the wild, just like the ones who walk through my yard. Turkeys can be many colors. Their feathers can be white, black, brown, or red. Do you see those different colors on this turkey right here? I see lots of brown, maybe some black. I don't know if I see any red. Oh, there's some right up here. They can even be green. Have you ever seen green on a turkey? I don't know that I have. Maybe I haven't been close enough. They have a waddle. It hangs from their throat. So this is their waddle. That's that bright red part, this part right here. They have a snood. It hangs above their beaks. So this is called a snood. Can you say that word with me, snood? When I read this book, I didn't even know that. I didn't know that was called what it was called. Farm turkeys usually eat wheat or corn, and they eat seeds. Farmers give their turkeys clean water each day. That's important. We gotta give our pets clean water. All, all living things need clean water. Farm turkeys live all over the world. They are raised for their meat. Some farmers let their turkeys run outside. At night, they stay in a shed, so they're safe and warm. Hmm. Let's see if I can turn the page. Female turkeys are called hens. Oh, just like a female chicken. Baby turkeys are called poults. That's another tricky word, just like snood. Can you say poult? Hmm, poult. It's kind of like poultry. So a baby turkey is called a poult. Male turkeys are called toms. They are known for the gobble sound they make. Can you make a turkey sound? Come on, do it at home. I know it's a really silly one and we all like it. Gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> Look, Look at this, average weight. So a turkey is heavier than a bowling ball. Wow. And the average wingspan, a wild turkey's wingspan is longer than an acoustic guitar. That's pretty long. I don't have my guitar with me, otherwise I would show you. The end. Wow, that is really interesting. I learned some new words today reading that with you. Snood and pult. Good stuff. All right, can you get out your bouncing mouse? We're going to do a rhyme together. And we're going to have him, grown-ups, feel free to bounce your mouse all over your child's body. And children, feel free to bounce your mouse wherever you would like. Let's do it. It goes like this. Boing, boing, squeak. Boing, boing, squeak. A bouncing mouse is in my house. He's been there for a week. He came out of nowhere. He quickly settled in. I'm thankful that he came alone. I hear he had a twin. He bounces in the kitchen. He bounces in the den. He bounces in the living room. Look, there he goes again. The mouse just keeps on bouncing every minute of the day. He bounces, bounce, bounces, but he does not bounce away. Good bouncing, and you can bounce him on your shoulder. You can bounce him on your head. That's so silly. All right, let's do another one. I want to do, let's see, let's do, can you hold out your hand? I've got all kinds of rhymes planned for you. 
So we see lots of squirrels getting ready for winter, right? They're collecting tree, um, nuts and seeds and berries and maybe corn and all kinds of things. Let's do a rhyme about five squirrels. Ready? This little squirrel said, let's run and play. This little squirrel said, let's hunt nuts today. This little squirrel said, yes, nuts are good. This little squirrel said, mm, my favorite food. And this little squirrel said, come and climb this tree. Ready? And crack these nuts. One, two, three. <gasps> Let's try it one more time. Ready? Can you get out your five little squirrels? And you can just, or how about we try it like this? You can do it this way. This little squirrel said, let's run and play. This little squirrel said, let's hunt nuts today. This little squirrel said, mm, yes, nuts are good. This little squirrel said, yes, my favorite food. And this little squirrel said, come and climb this tree and crack these nuts. One, two, three. Good job. <laughs> All right, let's read our second story. Do you remember what it's called? Mm, what are these words? Baby bear, baby bear, what do you see? Oh, pretty cool. And I encourage you to make the animal noises at home as you turn each page. And feel free to be loud, grown-ups. I'm looking at you. All right, this is read with permission by Henry Holt and Company. Thank you, Henry Holt. Baby bear, baby bear, what do you see? I see a red fox slipping by me. <gasps> what does the fox say? Red fox, red fox, what do you see? I see a flying squirrel gliding by me. Wow, look at that. Flying squirrel, flying squirrel, what do you see? I see a mountain goat climbing near me. What sound does a goat make? Mountain goat, mountain goat, what do you see? I see a blue heron flying by me. <gasps> Oof. Did you know the blue heron is the tallest flying bird? Blue heron, blue heron, what do you see? I see a prairie dog digging by me. Uh, prairie dog, prairie dog, what do you see? I see a striped skunk strutting by me. Ooh, striped skunk, striped skunk, what do you see? I see a mule deer running by me. Ooh, look at that deer, he looks like he's going fast. Mule deer, mule deer, what do you see? I see a rattlesnake sliding by me. You can make a snake sound at home, right? Yes. Rattlesnake, rattlesnake, what do you see? I see a screech owl hooting at me. Ooh, ooh. Screech owl, screech owl, what do you see? I see a mama bear looking at me. Mama bear, mama bear, what do you see? Can you make a mama bear sound? You could say or roar. <laughs> I see a red fox, a flying squirrel, a mountain goat, a blue heron, a prairie dog, a striped skunk, a mule deer, a rattlesnake, a screech owl, my baby bear looking at me. That's what I see. <laughs> the end. Cool. Those are some different animals, right? We all know um, brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? But they did some different animals in that one. All right, let's make some more animal noises. Can you help me? We're going to sing a song, and it goes like this. If you're ever in the forest, the forest, the forest, if you're ever in the forest, you might see some bears. Can you make a bear sound? Roar. <laughs> Good job. Sing with me again. If you're ever in the forest, the forest, the forest, 
If you're ever in the forest, you might see some frogs. Can you make a frog sound? Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> Good job. Sing again. If you're ever in the forest, the forest, the forest. If you're ever in the forest, you might see some bees. <laughs> this one's really soft and fluffy though. Oh, here's another one. If you're ever in the forest, the forest, the forest. If you're ever in the forest, you might see an owl. Oh, he's pretty. He reminds me of Hedwig. One more, one more. If you're ever in the forest, the forest, the forest. If you're ever in the forest, you might see some birds. What do you think these baby birds say? Tweet, 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 tweet. Oh, they're so cute. All right, everybody, grown-ups, it is time. Let's go to the moon today, shall we? I invite everybody to stand up, stand up. Grown-ups, you're going to be lifting your kids up over your heads as you're able. And let's rev our engines. Rev, rev, rev. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! And you can lift your child up over your head. Let's do it again. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. In five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Good job! Let's do it one more time. Ready? Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. In five, four, three, two, one. Blast! Stop! Good job, everybody. All right, you ready? Let's kick with two feet. Can you kick with two feet, two feet, two feet? Can you kick with two feet? Kick, 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 kick. Can you shrug with two shoulders, two shoulders, two shoulders? Can you shrug with two shoulders? Shrug, 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 shrug. Can you wiggle with ten fingers, ten fingers, ten fingers? Can you wiggle with ten fingers? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Can you nod with one head, one head, one head? Can you nod with one head? Nod, 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 nod. Can you clap with two hands, two hands, two hands? Can you clap with two hands? Clap, 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 clap. Can you wave bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye? Can you wave bye-bye, 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 bye? Let's sing our song together, our final closing song. And it goes like this. All this time we worked and played, worked and played, worked and played. All this time we worked and played, and now our time is done. Wave goodbye to all our friends, all our friends, all our friends. Wave goodbye to all our friends until we meet again. Thank you so much for joining me today, everybody. I miss you here at the library. A quick announcement that we're having our, one of our last outdoor pop-up libraries tomorrow. So between 9 and noon, stop by the library. You can browse a pretty great selection of children's material, but also grown-up books because the adult services section is also putting out a uh, browsable outdoor library. Come with your mask and your library card and you can safely browse and borrow uh, books.
And gosh, I think that's it. If you're participating in our fall reading frenzy, our uh, key word today to get that extra badge is gobble. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, everybody. And hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.